videos from the January 6th riots take center stage in a Denver court as six voters try to keep Donald Trump off the state's primary ballot. I'm Michelle Griego. Among those testifying, an officer who was at the Capitol during the violence. And our political specialist, Sean Boyd, has spent her morning in court. And Sean, the plaintiffs argue Trump's behavior during the January 6th attack on the Capitol disqualify him for office. Yeah, Michelle, the plaintiff's case is rooted in the 14th Amendment, which says anyone who engages in an insurrection or rebellion against the U.S. Constitution after taking an oath to defend it is ineligible to hold office. Both yeah, sides of this case of brought a small army of lawyers to court. Attorneys for the six plaintiffs argue Trump incited the mob that attacked the Capitol, telling them 20 times in his speech to fight and only once using the word peacefully. They say Trump knew the crowd was armed and dangerous and did nothing to stop them for three hours as they tried to stop the peaceful transfer of power. An attorney for Trump says what he did doesn't qualify as engaging in an insurrection. He says the lawsuit is anti-democratic because it interferes with the presidential election and urged the judge to err on the side of letting people vote. A D.C. officer who was at the Capitol January 6th was the first to take the stand. Attorneys showed body camera footage of him being beaten. He likened the mob to terrorists and said the attack was an assault on democracy. Trump incited a violent mob to attack our Capitol to stop the peaceful transfer of power under our Constitution. That mob got within 40 feet of Vice President Pence after they chased him from the Senate floor. That mob tried to hurt and kill our elected leaders. And we are here because Trump claims, after all that, he has the right to be president again. This lawsuit is anti-democratic. It looks to extinguish the opportunity, extinguish it, the opportunity for millions of Coloradans, Colorado Republicans and unaffiliated voters to be able to choose and vote for the presidential candidate they want. In fact, the leading Republican presidential candidates. And by many measures, the candidate, you know, most likely to win the presidency. The lawsuit could have national implications. If Trump doesn't make the primary ballot, he doesn't get any delegates from Colorado at the national convention where the GOP picks its nominee. And if other states follow Colorado's lead, Trump may not have enough delegates to secure the nomination. The trial is expected to last five days. An attorney for Trump tells me he will not be making an appearance. Live in Denver, Sean Boyd covering Colorado first. Sean, thank you.